first things first, we need a way to mount our phone and we need it to be versatile so we can mount it in different positions anywhere we go. And that's exactly what this gooseneck clamp allows me to do. I can mount this just about anywhere to just about anything like the poles on my ice house. I can clamp it to a tree branch right side up or even upside down like this. Um, this is a super strong jawed clamp. It's not gonna come off and it's got an adjustment strap so you can adjust the size of what you're clamping on. I can clamp it to the side of my desk right here. You can spin it around, boom, you're filming. So this is a super versatile way to mount your iPhone and it's worked really, really well for me. Uh, that is made by GoPro and there's a reason that I use the GoPro brand. It's a little more expensive, but with this particular piece, I've used other brands and they just didn't hold up as well as the GoPro. Part number two, you need an adapter so that you can get this phone clamp to work with GoPro gear. This is a super simple adapter and it's got uh, the typical GoPro mount down here. And then right here, it changes to what would you would see on a typical tripod. And that is exactly what this uh, phone clamp has on the bottom of it. So that screws right onto that, that adapter. Now the, the clamp itself is metal and it has a screw right here. It's got a thumb screw, so you can clamp this down, tighten it down on your phone so you're not gonna lose it. A lot of other ones I've used just had a spring and it wasn't strong enough because if you bump this really hard, it could pop out of the holder. I definitely recommend this one. And there's one other reason I recommend this phone clamp and that is right up here, it's got a cold shoe mount. So anyone who uses camera gear knows what a cold shoe is, but some of you guys may not. Uh, basically, it is a little, slot in the end there that the square goes into and then there's a little screw right there you tighten that down that allows you to mount all kinds of camera gear to anything it's a very adaptable uh, mounting system now what i've done is i've split that so this is basically a double uh, cold shoe mount and that slides in there and then there's two cold shoe mounts here so i can put two different accessories on here I'll leave a link for that as well. Now the final two accessories, which are our light and our microphone. We'll go into the microphone first. The microphone is essential because with the iPhone, you just don't get super great audio in the wind, especially with the built-in mics. They're okay indoors when you're just filming with no wind, but when you're out in the outdoors and you're moving away from the camera, closer to the camera, uh, you really need something that's going to cut the wind and have a directional mic like this shotgun mic. So what I have on here is a Deity V-Mic D4 Mini shotgun microphone. This has been a great one for me and it comes with everything you need other than this dongle, which I'll get into in a second. I had a different microphone for a while. It was a Rode Video Micro and I did not get as good wind noise reduction with that uh, that microphone as I do with this Deity. So I definitely recommend the Deity. And it comes with the, again, the TRRS cable to the TRS cable, which you need. And then also you need this little dongle to go into your lightning port on your, your iPhone. And that goes to TRRS. And that setup will automatically plug and play with your phone. No need to download any software or anything. As long as you get those cables right, you're good to go. Uh, this mic is powered by the power on the phone, so you don't need any extra power source and it is a great directional microphone for this setup. And then finally, we get to the light. It's nice to have a light that you can just turn on whenever you need it to film in the dark. Um, this light gets pretty bright. It's not gonna flood the area with light, but it is going to give you enough to like do at least you know close-ups where you're, you're just filming your face or something down like by your ice fishing hole or whatever it happens to be, lower light, inside your shack lots of options with that to give yourself better lighting so you get that good video quality that's a red green blue so you can change it to different lighting if you want to film you know some reds or greens some different colors as well so that's the basic breakdown of my setup here and like i said i'll leave a link below for all this stuff so you can set it up exactly how you want to make sure you subscribe if you like to fish also leave a comment if you have any questions about this I can answer them right here, or you can uh, you can also check me out on Instagram. Message me, Hooked Up Wisconsin, at Hooked Up Wisconsin on Instagram. I can help you kind of set this up. So with that, 
I'm going to leave some footage here for you. Check it out, see what you think. And thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you later. Get hooked up. Pushing a 19 inch, maybe 20 inch bass. Look at that slab. Perfectly hooked in the corner of the mouth with that circle hook. I'll take these all day long. <laughs>